Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Muffet. Guys, today we're gonna to do a review of the uh, Cobra Pistol Crossbow. The reasons I like it and the reasons uh, you might not like it. Um, so I've got 10 reasons I liked it and if uh, three or four that you might wanna watch out for. But they're not really that important. I kinda of like this crossbow, let me tell you. Let's get, a, let's get started. Um, first, I guess the one of the good reasons I like it is it's low cost. It costs about $22, $24. The price varies up and down on Amazon. If you're listening to this and you go to Amazon, it's higher. Uh, it, it does go up and down over time. Of course, if it's five years from now, <laughs> it might be a lot higher. Of course, it could be a lot lower. We don't know what's going to happen with the economy. But that's one reason I like it, low cost. Number two, it's pretty well built. Um, uh, there's, there's a couple aspects of it that uh, I want to talk about at the end. But overall, I think it's very well built for the price. I was kind of surprised. That, that was a little bit uh, surprising. Number three reason to like it is, well, George Sprague likes it. Um, if you don't know who York Sprague is, he's got the, the usually popular uh, Slingshot channel. And uh, he's reviewed this several times. And he didn't like it at first, but then he said he thought it was good enough to kill zombies. So if it's good enough for York Sprague, <laughs> it's good enough for me, let me tell you. I'll leave a link to some of his videos he's, he's made on this, this little crossbow. You'll like it. Uh, number four, this is kind of a cool item because you can uh, actually increase the power by reversing the bow. You can sort of make a hack to make it even more powerful. Um, you can also, number five, you can, you can hack it or modify it to shoot uh, semi-automatically. It'll uh, self-load. You just have to cock it and shoot. Uh, I'll leave a link to George York again. He's got a video on how he did that. So there's what I'm getting at. There's a lot of fun things you can do with this other than just shoot. If you like making stuff, there's things you can do with this. It's uh, it's it's a lot of fun because you can modify it and add things to it and and, and make it into different things. It's kind of fun. Um, number six, the main reason I bought this, I want to convert it to go bow fishing. So uh, I haven't done it yet. So this is number six. It can be converted to bow fishing. Maybe. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but I've been looking at it. I don't see any reason why I can't do it. Number seven, it uh, it shoots homemade ammo really easily. The the little three bolts or arrows it comes with, they break pretty quick because it's a powerful bow, and it kind of uh, breaks them in half when it hits the target. They come with a metal and plastic arrow or, or bolt. But you can buy plastic ones that, uh, from what I understand, actually... They're much harder to break. What I've been doing, though, is making my own ammo. I, I made a video last week on how to use pencils. And I actually put the little fetching on the back of them. After I made it, somebody uh, left a comment and said, Hey, buddy, you ought to just put tape on the end. You don't have to go through all that rigmarole to put the fetching on. And I, I haven't done it yet, but I think they're right. So it's pretty simple to make some homemade ammo. Um, number eight, it's not a toy. You can actually penetrate stuff with this you don't really want to penetrate. <laughs> Say no more. Number nine, it's a pretty simple assembly. They're just uh, one or two parts that it snaps together, but it is does require some some strength and determination to to put the uh, the the string on. It's uh, you can do it with two persons a lot easier than one. But I did it. I just put one end on the ground and put my body weight on top of it and put my knee on the, the stock and press it down and was able to do it. If you don't have a lot of upper body strength, you can make a little like a Spanish windlass or something. Just get a little stick and some string or some line and you can twist it and you can bend that bow down one handed, not no hand, but by one person. That way you can do it by yourself. Um, number 10, I thought it was pretty accurate. It's, it's, uh, I'm not an expert at this, but I was kind of surprised. Bingo, bingo. If you shoot, I found that there's really accurate, like the left to right is fine what was off was the high and low you can adjust the sights on it and once you get used to it you can dial it in and you can get pretty accurate even though you're using ha homemade ammo so those are the things i liked about it and i recommend it the cons well one thing i, I read all the reviews for this cobra and even some other crossbows and that were similar might have been from the same manufacturer and they said well they didn't like it because the string breaks and a lot of people responded, well, you have to use the wax on your string to keep it from breaking. Uh, the, eventually, the string might break anyway. But, but if you want to make it last a long time, you should wax. I'll leave a link. 
you can get this is like you could beeswax or there's there's wax to use for bows. You could like five or six bucks. Um, the second thing that's a con, a, a negative, is the ammo will break. The metal and plastic ammo breaks, and even the other ammo is pretty strong. So if it's slamming against your hard target, you're gonna break your ammo, man. Um, mm, number next one that's kind of a negative. It is a little hard to attach the string. You gotta have to use some effort. It's not that easy, but but uh, it can be done. Um, another thing is probably the last one is some places these are probably against the law so you got to check you don't want to get in trouble over something like this make sure the laws are okay in your area and if you do use her bow fish and you want to check the laws on that too um, but other than that I'm pretty happy for 22 24 bucks it's a pretty good pretty good little item it's, it's, it's more than a toy and I hope you check out O'York's channel let me show you the features He's, he's funny guy and he's got a lot of cool videos on where he hacked his little crossbow and uh, added things onto it and made it stronger and, and really cool so uh i recommend it it's a thumbs up for me i'll leave a link down below you can check it out on amazon if you want to get one also the wax and if you want to see how to make your own ammo uh i got a video i'll leave a link to it i've already done that and i think in the next couple weeks i'll be trying to make this into a, a, a bow fishing uh arrow and uh, a crossbow all right, guys, I'm starting to ramble here. Hope you like the video. I put new stuff on every week. Got over 500 videos. I got a lot of people I feature on my channel that are pretty cool. You might want to check them out, too. And put, like I said, new stuff on every week. And uh, if you all come back, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, see you out there.